This tiny sea creature was thought to have gone extinct over 4 million years ago, but it isn't. A whale so rare it was only identified as its own species in 2003, was first filmed alive off Madagascar in 2015, and for almost 50 years a jellyfish species disappeared, until a tourist flipping rocks in Scotland snapped the first ever photos of it. These are sea creatures believed to be extinct, caught on camera. This first creature on the list is the Protolophila. Not exactly a household name, but that's probably because this thing was believed to have gone extinct not a hundred years ago, not a couple thousand even. Scientists thought it went extinct about four million years ago. This tiny sea creature related to corals and sea anemones usually only shows up as little holes on the tubes of marine worms. Until recently, it was only known from fossils found in Europe and the Middle East. But when scientists in New Zealand dug up fossils of this thing that were supposedly from a time after the species had already disappeared, it got them curious enough to go back and check some tube worm samples they'd collected back in 2008. And it turns out Protolophila had been alive and well in New Zealand waters the whole time. They just hadn't noticed. As National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research scientist Dennis Gordon put it, it's one of those rare cases where studying fossils actually led to finding a species still alive today. Amora's whale is a ghost of the ocean, so rare that until 2015 scientists had never seen one alive. They were first confirmed as a separate species in 2003, based on DNA and physical differences from bride's whales. But even then, they were known only from dead specimens. That all changed in October of 2015 though, when an international team of biologists filmed Amuro's whales off the coast of Madagascar. They spotted 44 individuals and collected some samples, making it the first time this whale had ever been documented alive in the wild. Amuro's whales are pretty small by whale standards, only about 32 to 39 feet long or 10 to 12 meters, and people often mistake them for bride's whales. One of the coolest things about them is their asymmetrical lower jaw. White on the right side, dark on the left. Their fins are unique as well, which make them easier to tell apart if you're lucky enough to see one. Since that first footage, Amura's whales have popped up a handful of times, but sightings are still rare, and scientists still have a lot to learn about them. For almost 50 years, nobody had seen the Pastrum cyathiform, a rare stocked jellyfish that was last spotted in France back in 1976. Most experts figured it had gone extinct. But then Neil Roberts, just a tourist on an island off the coast of Scotland, flipped over a rock and found four of them. Roberts took some photos, but when he looked online, he noticed what he just photographed didn't really match any other photos. The only thing that looked close were old drawings. Turns out Neil had just taken the first ever photo of the species. Guy Freeman, editor of British Wildlife Magazine, was amazed. When Neil first shared the photos, it was like seeing a ghost, Freeman said. Continuing, this thing had only ever existed in old drawings. It was suddenly there, in the flesh. This image was shared to X by the National Parks Board, who wrote, The Neptune's cup sponge is the first animal described from Singapore. It was collected in Rafflesia's presence in 1819 and described by Thomas Hardwick, presumed to be extinct until its reappearance in the region. It was rediscovered here in 2011. So a bit more on this, Neptune's cup is a sea creature people thought was gone for good. By 1912 it was considered extinct because it had been over harvested. Then in 2011, divers off Thailand and Singapore found a handful of these things alive. Singapore moved some to a marine sanctuary to protect them, but the same sanctuary is full of fish like map puffers and copper band butterfly fish that love snacking on them. Not exactly ideal, but since 2017, more have been spotted off Cambodia. Unlike most sponges that attach to reefs, these guys just anchor themselves in the sand at the bottom of the ocean. Turns out they weren't extinct, they were just really good at hiding. Two fishermen off Gran Canaria got the surprise of their lives when they came face to face with one of the ocean's weirdest predators, a goblin shark. Now the thing is, these sharks are found way deep below the surface, but this one turned up while Marcos Hernandez and Ramon Santana were fishing. When it came up, we had no idea what it was, Marcos said. At first we thought it was a swordfish because of the snout, 
but then we realized it wasn't. It had leathery skin, and after looking online, we understood what it really was." End quote. The shark even showed off its uh, signature party trick, where its uh, jaw juts out. After confirming it was a goblin shark, they released it back into the water. This is the first confirmed sighting of the species in these waters. Goblin sharks are often called living fossils, because they have barely changed in over 100 million years. They're rarely seen alive, let alone at these depths. Big fin squid are insanely rare. So rare that most deep sea explorers will just go their whole careers without seeing one. Big fin squid were first caught on camera in September of 1988 off northern Brazil, nearly 4,735 meters down, which is over 15,000 feet. They've got these crazy long skinny arms and big fins that give them this totally alien look. They really do look like something from another planet. And yes, those are arms, not tentacles. Big fins have four normal arms and two specialized feeding tentacles, but the arms stretch so ridiculously long, sometimes as long as their whole body, it's easy to mistake them for tentacles. In 1992, a submersible spotted two off the coast of West Africa, and in 2000, an ROV in the Gulf of Mexico filmed one estimated at 7 meters long. More recently, an NOAA submersible captured a big fin in November of 2021 off Florida at nearly 2,400 meters deep. Some of them probably live over 6,000 meters down, which is basically the bottom of the sea. Scientists still don't fully understand how they live down there, but each rare sighting gives them an incredible peek at one of the strangest most mysterious creatures in the ocean. The smooth-toothed black-tipped shark was thought to be extinct over 100 years ago, until it was rediscovered in 2008 at a fish market in Kuwait. The first specimen was caught back in 1902 by a naturalist Wilhelm Hein in Yemen and sent to the Vienna Museum along with other animals and plants, and for decades, this thing went mostly unnoticed. Then in 1985, scientist Jack Garrick examined that old specimen, and he identified it as a new species. Since no other specimens have been seen, scientists assumed it might be extinct. And some even questioned whether it was a valid species at all. But then in 2008, during a research expedition, the smooth-toothed black tip appeared at Kuwait's shark fish market. These sharks are relatively small, growing up to four feet long with a greenish colored body. They seem to prefer shallow waters and feed mainly on small bony fish. Not much else is known about them, but the smooth tooth black tip is currently listed as vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species. The Shoshone pupfish is a tiny fish that lives in the middle of the desert, in small springs and drainage areas around Shoshone Springs, California. Scientists thought it had gone extinct by 1969, but in 1986, it was rediscovered hiding in a drainage ditch that had been covered in thick cattails. The population was so small at the time that almost all the fish were collected and sent to universities for breeding programs, just to make sure the species didn't disappear completely. These fish are built to survive extreme conditions. They can handle water temperatures from freezing all the way up to 44 degrees Celsius or 111 degrees Fahrenheit. They grow up fast as well, reaching sexual maturity in just four to six weeks. The coelacanth is a fish that scientists thought had been gone for 66 million years, basically since the time of the dinosaurs. But then in 1938, a fisherman off South Africa hauled one up and brought it to Marjorie Courtney Latimer, a museum curator. She didn't totally know what she had at first, but after calling in scientist J.L.B. Smith, it was confirmed that this fish, known only from fossils, was actually still a living species, a species that became known as the quintessential living fossil. Coelacanths live in the deep sea, usually between 150 and 700 meters down, or about 490 and 2300 feet. They've got these weird lobed fins and a tail unlike anything you'd normally see on a fish, which is why scientists think they're kind of like this bridge, a missing link between fish and the first land animals. That's how long these things have been around. Since that first discovery, another species, known as the Indonesian coelacanth, was spotted off Indonesia in 1997. The vaquita is a tiny porpoise living in the northern part of Mexico's Gulf of California. It's basically the rarest marine mammal on Earth. As of 2025, there are fewer than 10 left. 
They're small, only about five feet long. They have dark rings around their eyes. They stick to shallow, murky waters, so that makes spotting them harder. The biggest danger for these things isn't natural predators, it's us. Fishermen set nets to catch another endangered fish called the totaba, and vaquitas get accidentally trapped in them. These other fish they're trying to catch are highly prized, especially its swim bladder, so these nets keep being used even though they're deadly for these porpoises. Conservation teams are patrolling their habitats quite often. They remove nets, they use underwater microphones to try and track them, but just aren't enough resources to fully protect them. So that's a fun note to end on. I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.